Good morning. I figured I'd do another like day in the life. I feel like I haven't done one in a while. So I am, this is a Friday. This is a very non-typical Friday. It's gonna be a hectic day, but with like kind of exciting stuff. So I thought it would be a good one to do a day in the life for. And I am obviously in the car currently. Uh, this is not business related, but it is the start of my day. So I thought I'd share it. I am currently driving to, it's like a park district venue and it is for the Halloween party that I am throwing with my husband. We love Halloween and we wanted to throw a party for all of our friends, but our houses, we have a very like cozy, quaint, but ultimately like very small house. And we just throwing a party there in the likelihood that it will be inside because it's October in Milwaukee. Like I think, I think like two years ago it snowed on Halloween. So like we cannot rely on being in the backyard. And so we were like, let's just do it somewhere else so we don't have to worry about it. So we found a building through the park district. So it's like, it's cute, but like, it's very affordable. Very, very affordable. If you're getting married in Milwaukee and you have a strict budget, check out the park district buildings. So yeah, right now I'm going, this is, I booked it and like haven't actually seen it in person. So I need to go and just like make sure that like the layout that we want for the party works and like where are we gonna put everything. So that is what I'm doing now. And then I need to go back to my studio and make soap. I actually pre-batched some soap ingredients, which is, this is the first time I've done that in a really long time, if ever. I can't remember if I've done it before, but I'm excited for how much faster that's gonna go. I'm making holiday soaps already because I just want to get, I want to get some of them made so that I can photograph them for my wholesale catalog because I want to be sending that out to people soon. So I've got to make two double batches of soap and then, oh, there's the sun. It is a beautiful morning. It's very cold. If you can't tell by my like big fluffy coat, it is like 40 degrees right now. It's supposed to be a nice day, but mornings are so cold. But yeah, so I've got, I've, once I make soap, I then have to do a little bit of work for, I'm actually applying for a grant for my business. There is a like economic development grant for businesses who have moved into a commercial space in the past year, which includes me with the studio. But there's a lot of like, obviously there's a ton of paperwork involved and I need to like take measurements for a floor plan and show like, how much soap I have on site. I don't know. I'll talk about it more later when I'm actually doing it, but I'm going to try and do that today. And then I also really need to like clean up and organize my studio because I have someone coming on Monday to talk about a custom order. And I just, I like the studio to look as nice as possible. Obviously, like I don't want my chaotic, like piles of papers and like random products and all this stuff all over. As you can see from that footage, site visit went great. I'm very excited about that space. Like the scenery is just like gorgeous. I mean, right now with the fall colors, but it was gorgeous out there. It was small. The space is gonna be kind of cozy, but that's why it's affordable. <laughs> and it was nice to just like check that off at the beginning of the day. I'm back at my studio now, obviously, and trying to, it's always hard for me a little bit to like prioritize what to do first. I think probably the first thing I'm gonna do is just make soap because that's always the thing that's like looming over my head of like, okay, you have to get this done today. And with the way my brain works, if I know there's something that needs to get done today and I don't just do it, then I'm like distracted for every other task and just like, I don't know, feeling anxious about getting the one thing done that has to happen. So the soaps I'm making today are two of my holiday soaps. They are fragrances that I had last holiday season. It's the Freshly Foraged, which was one of my most popular fragrances. And the other one is Snowy Nightcap, which was also very popular. Snowy Nightcap is a little bit more subtle, so I don't think it's something that like people smell and it like screams holiday. 
to them. So they might, you know, I think it was still popular and I think it smells really good, but it's a much subtler scent. So it's the kind of person who like wants something more subtle. The color palette for Freshly Forged, I'm keeping the same as last year. It was a green base with a like almost a maroonish red swirl. It was just like, I really liked that color palette. Snowy Nightcap, I am going to try and change up this year a little bit. Last year, I wanted the imagery of like a nighttime sky with snow. So it was a like dark blue base and a white swirl. But I almost think the dark blue, I think the dark blue is like kind of a hard sell. I just don't think the color is on people's like must list. So now I'm just going for a little bit more of like a sort of snowy sky like sticking to like a lighter color palette and seeing how that does so i'll be experimenting with that today who knows how it's gonna go but that's what i'll be trying this time around with the snowy makeup my first batch of soap I made the freshly foraged soap turned out great and I actually right before I started making it I ran down to get a bagel from the cafe downstairs and the woman who works there who owns it she said hey I saw you in Milwaukee magazine and I was like and so she's like yeah there was a thing about buying local fall candles and so I just went online and looked it up and yep there was an article in Milwaukee magazine which is obviously a local magazine about, I think there were like 12 um, places to buy locally made candles for fall. And I was on the list, which is very exciting. I think it might be my first like official press. So I don't know, I just was very excited about that. And it's, it's nice, it's coming at a good time because I like going into the holiday season, like it's intimidating to think like, okay, I gotta make sure that I'm on top of my game. This is when I'm gonna make the most sales of the year and I want to make sure I'm doing it right. And having my name put out there by a local media source, whatever you wanna call it, was really very exciting. So that was a nice little surprise for the middle of my day. I'm also packing up a wholesale order, which I will take you with me to drop off. This one is in for a store in Wauwatosa, which is just outside of Milwaukee. So it's like a, I don't know, 15, 20 minute drive to get over there. So I packed up the stuff for that. Probably gonna have to get a cart up here cause it's heavy. Like this is, it's great when it's a big order, but it's also obviously a little bit trickier to carry around. So there's a bunch of like shower steamers and bath salts and soap and candles. It's just all like heavy stuff. I did do the measurements also for the grant application, which was, I was gonna film it, and then I forgot to get it set up in time. And I'm glad I didn't because me with a tape measure is an embarrassing sight. Made it through that. I'm excited to like put that together and send it off to him so that I can hopefully get this application finished. I would love to get it finished before I launch the holiday line because if I wait until after that, first of all, there, I potentially, I don't know when they run out of money for this grant. I would just like to get it completed so that it's off my plate during the busiest time of the year for me. I now really want to try and make this second batch of soap. I did not think through though that I wanna make sure I have enough clean dishes. I'm probably gonna to have to use something different than I usually do to make this because that's something I haven't done. I haven't made like back-to-back -back batches of soap in a day and clean dishes are an issue for that, like mixing bowls and stuff like that. So. We'll see what I come up with. Hopefully I can get this taken care of so I can also cross that off the list.
unfortunately, right in the middle of making that batch of soap, my immersion blender just fell apart and I couldn't get it back together. A piece fell into the soap. I spent a bunch of time finding it, getting it out of there, and then like trying to hand mix. So I have no idea how this soap is going to turn out. I think it got mixed up enough that it'll be fine. But uh, of course it happens on a double batch too. Like if this so for some reason didn't mix up fully, I'm gonna be so bummed. Although I will say like, it looks good. Like, it looks like soap. It's not separating or anything, which I think can happen if your oils don't get um, fully mixed up, but like it's not, it looks good. So fingers crossed that that didn't mess me up as much as I felt like it messed me up. It did create such a mess though. Cause I'm like using all these utensils to dig into the batter and get this thing out. So anyway, that part of the day, not going exactly as I had planned, but at least it's done. I now have four loaves of soap that I have made today. So that feels very productive. And now I am gonna load up my car with the stuff for my wholesale drop off. back from my drop off it feels so good to like hand off a bunch of boxes of product it's just like I can like check it off the list erase it from my like production board that I have also it's exciting to know that new products will be out in a store and now really I've got about an hour left before I go to the gym and then go home so I am gonna just try and clean honestly for the last hour especially with this chaos of the soap and my blender falling apart like kitchen area is a mess like this table that i'm at right now my like conference table is just like covered and stuff and i just really want to get a little bit organized i have to say i'm so glad it's friday it's been a long week lots of good stuff but also just like a lot of tough stuff and I am ready for the weekend, hoping to go to a pumpkin patch, just like the fall colors are so gorgeous right now. And I am excited to like make the most of it this weekend, but I am gonna try and finish strong today so that I can like really feel accomplished going into the weekend. So thanks for following along with this day in the life. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos that I post. Mm -hmm.